Well, hey everybody, Jimmy here from Michigan Out of Doors, and thank you for watching the show each and every week. We sure do appreciate it. And one thing that we did air a couple of weeks ago is actually drew quite a bit of interest from not only our viewers, but from the DNR as well. We did a story talking about the wolf population in Michigan, and if you caught that, it was on about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago now. And if you didn't see it, you might want to go back and check it out. But during that interview, uh, the DNR actually stated that the wolf population has no impact on the deer population in the Upper Peninsula. Well, we know that is not the case, and in fact, right after that segment aired, I mentioned that on the television show that we, we know that they have an impact. The question is how big of an impact. But the fact that the DNR said there was no impact, that really set off a lot of people to not only contact us here at the television show, but a lot of people at the DNR as well. So the DNR issued a statement trying to just kind of clarify what was meant to be said in that interview, and I thought that was kind of interesting for them to do, and so I thought I would read that to you uh, to get to your thoughts on that. But uh, again, this is from our wolf episode where we talked about the wolf population. Here's what the DNR sent us. A statement the DNR's large carnivore specialist, Brian Roll, made to Michigan Out of Doors TV regarding wolves and deer in the Upper Peninsula was incomplete and lacked context. Wolves, along with other predators, habitat and weather, do have an impact on deer populations. Brian was seeking to put the impact of wolves in a broader context relative to other factors influencing the growth of the deer population. He referred to specifically a decade of extensive research by the DNR and partner organizations that evaluated the roles of habitat, winter weather, and predation on deer populations in the Upper Peninsula. The result of this long-term study identifies many factors that are much more determinative of deer populations than wolves. Importantly, winter weather, not wolf predation, is the dominant factor driving deer abundance in the Upper Peninsula. We apologize for any confusion. So there you have it. That's straight from the DNR. and Obviously, they got enough... Um, blowback if you will from from the viewers of our show that they wanted to try to clarify what was said there I, I don't think they needed to make that statement but they did and i think a lot of people watching the show sometimes they reach out to us thinking we should be much harder much harsher on the dnr and i don't really think that at all i really think my role with the television show is to uh from time to time put the dnr on there so they can explain what they're doing <clears throat> and why they're doing it now you don't have to agree with everything that they say and nor do i even some people that i know that work in the department don't always agree with everything they're doing but but when it comes to wolves in the upper peninsula what what do we think here at the television show it really doesn't matter what we think but do i think there's a huntable population up there of course we do there's plenty of wolves for that i mean our our elk populations fluctuates between 900 and 1200 and we harvest a couple hundred elk every single year so we could definitely have a wolf season up there but that's controlled by the federal government and unfortunately someone sitting in a desk in washington can tell our biologists in the upper peninsula that they can't have a wolf season which to me is crazy but that's just the way it is and so there's lots of things we don't quite understand you take the issue of baiting you know of course uh, why is it okay that we can bait in the upper peninsula but not bait in the lower peninsula i mean the whole reason the dnr told us that we can't bait is because there's too much nose to nose contact between deer when they're at a bait pile but does that not apply to the upper peninsula I, you know there's just things like that that don't make a lot of sense uh, and speaking of baiting when you talk about food plots we get this every time we air a food plot story on michigan outdoors well isn't that just the same as baiting well, yeah, I think it is. And so really, should we be able to bait? Yeah, probably we should. If we can bait in the upper, we should be able to bait in the lower. But again, those are just our opinions. And so what we do with the DNR is try to have them explain what they're doing and why, even if we don't always agree with it. So that's their statement, and we appreciate them doing that, even though I don't think they needed to. Uh, but we'll keep moving forward and hopefully bringing you more and more uh, Michigan Outdoors episodes and from time to time uh, having the DNR on to talk about uh, kind of what they do and why. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.